In this video, we will discuss steady state error when the input is unit RAM signal. So, in the previous video, we calculated steady state error when the input is unit step signal. So, in this video, we will calculate the same for the input as unit RAM. So, first of all, we had already a couple of videos related to steady state error and static error constants and type order of the system. So, you need to get that knowledge before getting into this video. So, here according to that analysis, I got ESS is equivalent to limit S tends to 0 S into E of S. This is my steady state error formula according to final value theorem. So, you can refer the video related to steady state error. There we got the steady state error is equivalent to limit S tends to 0 S into E of S where E of S is the Laplace transform of the error signal E of T. So, now that E of S also we are having formula E of S is equal into R of S by 1 plus G of S into H of S. This is the formula for E of S. Now, what they are saying the input is unit RAM signal for any control system representation from initial videos itself from initial videos onwards we are going to consider like R of T as input C of T as output that means R of S as input C of S as output. So, here my input R of T for my control system is ramp signal. Ramp signal means so T ramp signal is always represented with T T greater than or equivalent to 0. So, here if you want R of S that means we do not want time domain of the input signal we require frequency domain of the input signal that means transform of input R of S. So, we know the transform of ramp signal is equivalent to 1 by S square. So, these two I am going to substitute in equation number 1. So, that means this E of S value with this R of S included I am going to represent in this equation. So, my equation number 1 will become like this. So, E S S steady state error is equivalent to limit S tending to 0 S into in place of E of S when I am writing R of S I want to write 1 by S square now onwards divided by so 1 plus G of S into H of S. I just returned 1 by S square in place of R of S and I substituted this E of S here, total E of S here. So, S S is going to cancel, the remaining is limit S tending to 0, 1 by S into 1 plus G of S into H of S. So, in the next step I want to multiply this S2 inside that means S into 1 S plus S into G of S into H of S. So, I want to take this limit to inside. So, for numerator there is a constant no need of applying limit. So, for this if I applied limit S tends to 0 this will become 0, 0 plus limit S tends to 0 S into G of S into H of S. So, your ESS now is equal to 1 by limit S tending to 0 S into G of S into H of S. So, we already had a video related to static error constants. So, in, uh, in that if you observe this equation is related to velocity error constant kV. So, now onwards we can write ESS is equivalent to 1 by kV. So, that means the steady state error when we given unit ramp as input. So, that is equivalent to 1 by velocity error constant. So, now if you found this velocity error constant then you can estimate the steady state error. So, this error constant is dependent upon the type of the system. Again this kV value is dependent upon the type order of the system. For example, if you are having type 0 system, type 0 system. So, for a type 0 system if you want to uh, for any system not only type uh, type 0, type 1, type 2, if you want to calculate steady state error for unit ramp input this will be the equation you derived here itself. So, here kV will change according to the type of the system. Here I want to consider that kV, kV is equivalent to limit S tending to 0 
limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s this is kv velocity error constant so for a type 0 system the g of s into h of s how we will get g of s into h of s means limit s tends to 0 s into so you already had a video related to type order of the system in that the loop transfer function g of s into h of s can be represented with k into s plus z1 s plus z2 into so on divided by so here s plus p1 s plus p2 so on generally in equation you will have s power n there why i am not taking this s power n means for type 0 system n is equivalent to 0 for type 0 system n is equivalent to 0 so that's why if i substituted n equivalent to 0 so s power 0 will be equivalent to 1 so that's why i'm not taking this now you can see if you apply limit s tending to 0 here then what will happen 0 into anything you will get 0 kv you will get 0 for type 0 system if you are getting kv is equivalent to 0 then what about ess as ess is equivalent to 1 by kv then 1 by 0 is equivalent to infinity so for a type 0 system for a type 0 system if the input is unit ramp signal then the steady state error is equivalent to infinity so like this we need to frame a sentence so like that i want to check for type 1 system type 1 system for type 1 system n is equivalent to 1 again i want to calculate my kv kv is equivalent to limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s whatever we consider this value i am considering like kv that is it so here when you are writing s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s this loop transfer function for type 1 system then it will be like this k into s plus z1 all these are uh, zeros z2 into so on divided by so here s power n so where n is equivalent to 1 so that is why s power 1 s plus p1 s plus p2 so on now you can see here this s this s are going to cancel now if you apply your limit here then you are going to get k into z1 into z2 so on divided by p1 into p2 into so on so this is a constant this is a constant so you are going to get constant value here so your kv value is constant so now if you want to calculate ess now ess is equivalent to 1 by kv again when you are giving unit ramp signal as an input to any type order of the system the formula to calculate steady state error is 1 by kv for a type 1 system the kv value is constant 1 by constant so 1 by constant is equal to you will get a constant value so ess steady state error steady state error of the type 1 system when the signal is unit ramp so that is equivalent to constant now here i want to note it for type 2 system finally type 2 system type 2 system is nothing but n is equivalent to 2 n is equivalent to 2 type 2 system so the kv value is generally limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s again so only variation is g of s into h of s in all these things the variation variation factor is loop transfer function g of s into h of s here we will get s power 0 here you will get s power 1 for type 2 system onwards you will get s square s cube like that type 3 s cube like that up to type 2 only we are we are going to consider so s square into so here i need to take s into 
in place of g of s into h of s k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on divided by so here for a type 2 system so the n value is equivalent to 2 so you can uh, see that video related to type order of the system there in the denominator you will get s power n where n is the number of poles at the origin so for a type 2 system n must be equivalent to 2 so s plus p1 s plus p2 so on now s and s gets cancelled if i applied s tends to 0 here i am having s as s as 0 so 1 divided by 0 form will get so you will get kv as infinity now this is the time to calculate steady state error of type 2 system as steady state error is equivalent to k 1 by kv so if you take in 1 by infinity you will get 0 so from type 2 system onwards you are going to get your steady state error as 0 for example if you consider cube also you will get same thing if you consider s power 4 also so s cube will be remained when you applied s tends to 0 you will get 1 by 0 infinity for kv and ess will be 0 from type 2 system onwards you will get steady state error as 0 so when you will get steady state error when the input is unit ramp means for a type 2 system you will get steady state error as 0 so this is about the steady state error of the system when the input is unit ramp signal.